In this video, we will show you how to replace your rear inside tail lamp assembly on this Jeep Grand Cherokee. This will be mounted to your lift gate. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Open your lift gate. Once it's open, you can see two pieces of mounting hardware for the tail lamp assembly, but there's two more pieces that are behind this trim panel. We have to remove the trim panel from the lift gate. To do that, use a plastic trim tool. We'll carefully slide the trim tool in between the lift gate and the trim panel and gently start pulling this down and out of place, but keep in mind it does have a wiring harness leading along the backside for your lamp assemblies. Let's make our way around here. Now as we dislodge this, we'll be paying attention to our wiring harnesses. Go ahead and take hold of that assembly. Just twist that counterclockwise. You should be able to slide it right on out of there. Make our way over to the other side, repeat the process. Remove your trim panel. With our trim panel out of the way, we have a clear view of our inside rear tail lamp assembly. Let's start with the wiring harnesses. To disconnect the first wiring harness, we're only going to squeeze on the locking tab and then we can pull this out of place. A quick inspection for corrosion and we'll temporarily set that aside. Continuing to our next electrical connector, on this one, it has a red locking tab. You can either use your finger or use a small pocket screwdriver. We'll tug that away from the electrical connector to dislodge that. That'll unlock this. After completing that, go ahead and squeeze on the locking tab and we'll dislodge the wiring connector from the back side of this socket. There's our little push tab right in the center of the red locking tab. Continuing from here, you're going to find four mounting nuts holding this in place. There's two on the inboard side and two on the outboard side of this tail lamp assembly. A quick inspection as we continue on. We'll replace the mounting hardware as necessary. This hardware looks the exact same as the others. With the mounting hardware out of place, the next thing we'll have to do is pay attention along the inside of the tail lamp assembly. There's going to be a locking tab. We want to carefully tug on that, and then you should be able to push that tail lamp assembly out of your tailgate. There it is, friend. Once you have the tail lamp out of the vehicle, go ahead and clean up the mounting area. We need to give it a thorough inspection, make sure nothing's rotted or damaged. As you can tell, this looks fine. Let's continue on with our installation. Now it's time to install our brand new tail lamp assembly. We'll align our mounting studs and our locking tabs and press this into position. With that in place, it's time for our 10 millimeter mounting nuts. We'll start each of them on. After they're all started, go ahead and snug them up. We have the mounting hardware started on. Let's go ahead and snug it up, starting with the inboard mounting nuts. Once the tail lamp is completely secured to the lift gate, it's time to reinstall our electrical connectors. We'll press these in. Listen for a click. For the inboard one, we had that red locking tab. We'll make sure that that's locked in and one quick tug here just to ensure everything's properly secured as we continue on. We'll get this one in. Just press it in, listen for a click. 
This one did not have a locking tab, but you do still need to make sure it's properly secured. The next thing we want to do is just test the functionality. To have the reverse light function, the vehicle needs to be running. Perfect. At this point, it's time to reinstall the panel. When doing so, there's a couple things we'll pay attention to. On the lift gate itself, you're going to have ports making its way all the way around. Those are for push tabs that are located in the panel that's supposed to get pressed up against here. You want to make sure each one of these ports is free of those push clips. If you find any of these ports have the push clips in them, remove them and install them in the trim panel. As you bring the panel up into position, we'll also be paying attention to our wiring harnesses here with the bulbs on them. We're going to have to slide it through the insulation and then install it into the trim panel itself. We'll bring this up into position. We're going to have to slide the bulb through. Now we can bring this right inside, line it up, turn it clockwise to lock it in. We'll tuck this back on over that, make our way over to the other side. Now we'll start bringing this up into the proper position, pressing in all of our tabs. Make sure your trim panel is completely secured all the way around. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.